yeah, I got a gimbal. It's the DJI Osmo 4, which is their latest and greatest model. I'm about a year late to this party. So, yeah, it, it gimbals. It's pretty great. I'm thinking about making a GoPro mount where it's in the shape of a phone and then you just have the GoPro on there. I'm just gonna get straight into all of these features. Let me pull up my notes really quick. It offers great stabilization. There's this kind of movement, like it follows a little bit. Then if you hold this, hold the trigger down, right in there, hold the trigger down, it stays looking no matter which way you turn it. Um, there are many different modes of recording and shooting and panoramas and time lapses. There's like three different modes of time lapse. It's really easy to set up. All you have to do is download the app, you turn it on, you connect with Bluetooth and it just works and you just go through all the modes. Um, there is an amazing instruction manual. Like it's super easy to do everything. There's even a manual on how to install that, the little magnetic mount, which attack, attaches to the back of your phone. Um, it has USB-C right there. And it has a USB port so you can connect your phone and charge your phone if it can't last enough time. But the kind of janky thing is there's not enough space for a cable. So you gotta get a 90 degree cable that goes out out and like this but you just double click it's great all you have to do is double click right here this button is also the power button if you hold it down but you double click and it flips there's the joystick which turns it I have it on like a medium speed setting so it's pretty slow but yeah if you double click this it goes back to default so if I lock it and then move like this, double click, it moves, super great. The one hand operation, so there's zoom right here. The trigger, the one, two, three flips the camera. Um, one, two and hold makes um, like super fast tracking. Just hold this, um, one click does um, active track. So let's say I have a friend running around. I click, it automatically finds him and tracks him. And I just have to sit here and hold it. And it's super useful, especially for vlogging. So you just have the front facing camera. You're out like this, you click and you, it just follows you around. It's super awesome. Um, I don't have the Osmo app up right now, so it doesn't use the active track when I click once. But yeah, there's this right here. Just record automatically. There's also a tripod, which is actually really useful. And there's a little lanyard thing if you accidentally drop it. The tripod is unscrewable for super easy storage. You can also, if I shut down the phone really quick, you can take this off with a little phone clamp and it automatically moves to this position for you. All you have to do is fold down and it's super small and compact. And there's a little like felt carrying case that this fits in really nicely with this and the that super compact. You don't even notice it if you're carrying it in a backpack. Those were basically all the pros I had. Now onto the cons, which I have a few listed here. The leveling calibration is really bad. Um, the only thing you get is a little diagram showing you where the, the clamp is supposed to be attached, like up and down so it's not wonky. And you click a few buttons and it moves it, and it doesn't even show you if it's actually level. You just align it to whatever. Another con that I have is that this, you can have it pulled out on one side and it'll be offset and it won't work properly. And it'll just vibrate constantly and yell at you and not really give you any proper information. There's also a magnetic mount, which is an add-on, which I got with this because I bought it at b and and they had like a promo. And the magnetic mount is pretty cool, but you have to take off the your case and do bare if you have metal and then there's a little sticker that you put on if you have glass it's super weird i don't understand why they couldn't just stick it back to, to the back of the case the osmo just yells at you when you do the calibration that something vibrated blah 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 
that, that's basically all I have to say. It's great. Um, I love this thing. I used it a ton. I'll probably have some time lapses from when I was on vacation. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I know it's been like five months since my last video. I just haven't been really feeling it lately. I'm sorry. New videos are coming and th this gimbal is awesome. Yeah, I can't really not recommend it. So I'll probably have a link in the description somewhere. Go check it out. And yeah, I I'm, I'm gonna head out now. Bye.